Ooh, I love the rodeo. Yeah, it was swell. Okay, village people, cowboy. This is what you'll be barebacking today. I couldn't find any bulls, but I got you something better. Ooh, interesting. There's definitely something I like about it, but I can't put my finger in it. Okay, little oppressed cow brother, you're gonna wage animal jihad on behalf of all your little oppressed bovine friends with the help of a little methamphetamine. Guys, we'll need a distraction while I prepare our little friend for battle. I can't believe they waste perfectly good SWAT on a homo mission like this. Uh, no matter, I'm not paid to think, I'm paid to tase. I'll give it to... Hey, what the fuck are those assholes doing? I love the Postal Dude's fucking reaction to getting shot at is, what are those assholes doing? Like, can you not do that, please? Instead of, holy shit, someone's shooting at me? Something I really like uh, in the way Postal Dude's character handles uh, gay people is that he specifically avoids using the word gay in any possible circumstance. And like this really vague attempt to not be offensive toward gay people that ends up being more offensive than if he just would have said the word gay. I think that's really funny, personally. It's a little bit unexpected. It kind of makes sense when you realize the person he's talking to in the narration is overly flamboyant and presumably homosexual themselves. But it's still, it's still pretty funny. Arguably even more funny for that reason. This is actually one of the last missions in the game, believe it or not. Like, we're really close to the end game. There's only like three missions after this, and one of them is basically half a mission. I've already said this before, but this, uh, but this game is surprisingly lacking in mean-spiritedness, considering what you'd expect it to be like. I mean, a lot of people might consider the fact that there's a gay rodeo and the fact that the gay people are flamboyant to itself be offensive and mean-spirited. But nah, come on, everybody in this game is a cartoon, let's be fair. And it doesn't really say anything mean or terrible about gay people. I am gay and I'm probably more offensive toward gay people than this game is toward gay people. But I also think gay is a funny sounding word, and I like to say the word gay wherever possible. So that may have something to do with it. I don't call things gay casually outside of my close circle of friends because I know that bothers a lot of people, but I feel like this is a good excuse to say the word gay a lot because talking about the word gay is uh, integral to the co commentary. <laughs> Just had whacked that rhino up with enough meth for an entire elementary school. It was Gonzo Shitball's Berserker and had a sweet tooth for the village people cowboy. It was my duty to save Randy Jones, but how? I noticed it couldn't turn too quickly and figured maybe I could piss it off and make it run into stuff until uh, it got tired and peacefully fell asleep. I've seen people complain that you have to fight the rhino again. Like another ver oh, also, before you fight the rhino, you want to arrest the rest of the ecotologists because otherwise they'll shoot at you while you're fighting the rhino. That's very important. Anyway, as I was saying, I've seen people complain about this rhino boss battle. Uh, I mean, I guess I kind of get it, but at the same time, this rhino battle is different. In the sense that you can't punch the rhino this time because it's more aggressive. It won't let you approach it from behind. It just bucks you in the air if you approach it from behind. Whereas the previous Rhino just let you approach it from behind without any consequences. It's also noticeably harder to lure the Rhino into things this time, mostly because the map is a lot bigger. But we're gonna pull out one of our guns, shoot it in the ass, and it'll chase us around and run into stuff, just like last time. Except, you know, in a different map and with a slightly different, uh, different gimmick as far as the Rhino's aggression is concerned. The Rhino will actively go after NPCs, by the way, which is another difference from the first Rhino fight, because there were no NPCs to go after in that fight, unless you count the Helper Monkey. I want to say that I love that they fucking painted the Rhino, by the way. 
That's just really special. That's that's a special special idea that I I don't even understand where that came from, and I'm so proud of them. You know, something about this game is maybe I'm just desensitized to crude humor or something, but like the idea that someone would find this game offensive is just bizarre to me. It's like such a such a cartoony universe. There's not really any spite or hateful malice in it at all. The most it succeeds at offending someone, I think, is when it makes fun of the player, like when it actively mocks the player and their efforts. I think it's more successful at being offensive in that way than in any other. Like, I'm not even sure if it was trying to be offensive. I think it was just trying to be funny and edgy. If it was trying to be offensive, it didn't do a great job. I'm just saying, like, they're... I mean, I don't know. If you've talked to anyone in real life for for any period of time, you know that people are way worse than these cartoon... These cartoon people are. Like, real people are way, way worse than this. I'd argue that the surest way to offend someone would probably be to portray an actually, genuinely broken human being. Like someone that has severe issues and actually believes hurtful things because of those issues. I feel like that would probably be the most effective way to offend someone is to write an actual character instead of a cartoon caricature. Because this, this is really just goofy and you don't have to think about it. There's no thinking involved. But it's harder to ignore something that reminds people of real-life struggles or real-life difficulties or real-life bad people. Even though I think writing more realistic bad people is kind of important, because that, uh... Usually when people go out of their way to, uh, to write more realistic bad people, it's to show you how people get bad, what causes them to behave the way they do. And that, that tends to make people uncomfortable, showing them that the people they think are bad are in fact actual people and believe the things they believe not because they want to hurt someone, but because they're broken. Rodeo Pit Boss was just the mayor in another retarded disguise, but he was very happy with the way I'd saved Randy Jones, so happy that he said he'd pull some strings and get me into the secret service.